Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here and I am back and welcome back to Maneater 100% Achievement Guide with all the collectibles and everything in it, part 2 out of 3. So we got a lot of the collectibles done in the fir and completed the first 3 areas in the first video. So this one we're basically going to get more or less basically towards the end of the game. So that's with all the collectibles, that's pretty much everything done that we're going to do um, and then for part three out of three we're sort of just going to mop up uh, do the rest of the gulf collectibles the final area so for now well let's upgrade let's make our very realistic shark with realistic bone fins which obviously happens in the ocean i mean it could do deep deep in the ocean uh, but just remember what we're going to do is upgrade the hearty the uh sonar the hearty um, try and upgrade those as much as you can the shadow teeth we're going to try and get up to tier 5 and literally basically all bone armor as well so the bone fins the bone ur the bone armor the bone head <laughs> that's a bone head that sounds funny but basically that's what we're going to do so we're going to get bone armor shadow teeth up to tier 5 as well as hearty and the advanced sonar trust me these all come m -m 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 mega in handy um, for the other, for the third um, sort of organism, whatever that is, you can literally just choose what you want. Um, but I've got no idea why I'm going back and forth with things. But, you know, it's what I do. Keeping things fresh, keeping things entertaining, huh? Um, but that's what we're doing just for the first couple of seconds. And then we can start finally smashing out uh, with the <coughs> main quest. Now, this really... Does the, the more you sort of upgrade all your armor and stuff, the game literally just becomes easier and easier. And you will certainly start to feel that, especially as you upgrade, the, like I said, the bone armor and the shadow teeth especially. The game will literally should, by now as well, come second nature to you as well. So anyone you, you might, you, th you think you may have problems against, they become literally like shoving a chocolatey clear down your throat in one. Which, that, that wasn't even a joke of the um, sexual nature there. That was just literally the first thing that came into my head. Because I'm a fat get who likes chocolate eclairs. That's just how it is. Uh, so, yeah. What we're going to do then, we're going to smash up a couple of dudes. Or dudettes. Or non-binary dudes. Or, well, I suppose non binaries are not dudes. non binaries are just... Just n nothing, right? I, I don't know. I'm, I don't, I'm not that educated on it, sorry. But we're just going to mash up these bunch of sharks right here. And then we can finally start with our Menos Questos. I mean, look how good looking we look with bone fins. God. Jeez. That is one fit looking shark. Everyone would be lucky to be killed by me. So, let's Mako Bako out of Mako. There we go, finally. I tell you what, enemies in games would be much easier to kill in real life if they didn't move around and such. Am I right? Am I right? I'm right. So we've got a couple of quests we can go to first. We're going to go to uh, the Carnival Suns first. I think that says Suns. My eyes are a bit blurry right now. But that's where we go in first. And literally, that's all we have to do is kill ten humans. Humans. So, of course, just remember to always be using your sonar as well, just to get the collectibles. It just makes it a little bit easier for you, even though I do put the collectibles map up a little bit. Obviously, you've already seen it. Obviously, it just makes it that bit easier for you then, instead of looking back and forth, looking back and forth, and looking back and forth. Do you know what I mean? You know what I mean. So, let's get our teeth going, and let us fudge up some human buttholes. Not literally, don't just go for the human butts because, well, well, that shit stank. Go for the heads, go for whatever, eat them all, get the ten done, and then we can move on.
God damn it, will you stop trying to attack me? I haven't done anything except ruin tons of families and tons of lives. Jesus Christ. Terrorists get away with worse. God damn. Anyway, we have uh, done that now, so now we can move on, but I think what's going to happen is we are going to go for uh, Infamy Level 4 now. So once again, as you can see, I stayed on the boat a little bit longer there, um, which makes life a lot easier um, in terms of you're able to stay on the boat. That was due to the hearty upgrade, so we can stay on the boat longer, kill the humans quicker. And now Candyman Curtis. Now we sort of start getting out of the um, um, incestual looking, the typical buffet eating American. No offense, I still love you guys, I would still do you too. Um, but now we're starting to come to the real sugar. Which for us, watch out for the bombs by the way, but again, which for us doesn't really make a difference because we can still easily kill all of the guys. Um, the same way we've been doing it in the past as well. So, literally, you can jump up, kill Candyman Curtis there, or you can keep pressing the right bumper and keep spinning into the boat, and you can destroy the boat that way. In fact, that is what we will be doing a little bit later on as well. And that, trust me, just spinning into the boat, pressing the right bumper button, it basically just it basically makes you invincible rather than um, jumping up and killing everyone all the time. So that's Candyman Curtis dealt with anyway. We are going for Infamy level 5 here as well, but obviously I've edited it down a bit. It does take about uh, 5 to 10 minutes to get the full circle there all the way around to get us to level 5. So that is why I did edit it down some. Um, now if you want to get the your Infamy stats up a little quicker, it's definitely worth... It's better to destroy the boats rather than trying to kill the humans one at a time it's definitely worth, it's definitely better to just, just to destroy the boats so and, and that makes your infamy level rise up a little quicker there so that's just a little word of advice if you're thinking that it is taking too long destroy the boats rather than the humans and it's job done now we've got tyler dix on what is his dix on well it better not be on my head because well <laughs> that's a surprise and i don't like surprises Especially no one had a dicks on my head. Uh, sorry, Tyler. Okay, so now we're going again. We'll just be doing the same thing now. They start basically coming in cages now. So from level 4, 5 onwards, they start um, hiding in cages. So you can't just eat them very quickly. So this time, it is worth just pressing the right bumper and completely just dodging yourself into the boat. Destroying the boat uh, a lot quicker that way. That, again, is the best advice I can give. Obviously, it'll be done even quicker when we get the more upgrades later on. Um, but them hiding in cages is quite cowardice, if you think about it. But there we go. So we've destroyed the boat. Mr. Dixon. <laughs> Choke, chokes on Dix. South Park teacher joke there. Or Mr. Tyler Dix on my head. He is now dead. So, well, again, you can either carry on, go to level 6, or you, we can just carry on with the main quest for the time being. There's no real upgrades that we need from doing this, but of course we will need to get to level 10 for the achievement anyway. Uh, so it's completely up to you whether you want to crack on now or you just want to keep following me on the video. Port Clovis has grown bored of the hunt, leaving our shark to fight another day. Now the problem with doing the infamy all at once is, do you know what I mean, it can take up to well over an hour. If you wanted to do it all at once, it just gets a bit boring. When you're having to destroy the boat, get your infamy level up and that. So we do it sort of now and again. Uh, but what we're doing is the ne uh, next mission, which is Mothership, which is on the left-hand side of the map. Uh, this is basically just a hunt, which, you know, we've all been used to before. Uh, again, well, you should know what, what to do by now. Sort of dodge, bite, tail whip. Dodge, it sounds like sounds like an even worse instruction than that on dodgeball. Dodge, dive, duck, dick, dodge, dive, and dick again. Wait, there was no dick in that, was there? 
Yeah, yeah, no. I must be thinking of the the um, Pornhub version again. God damn it. I'm just joking, of course. <laughs> of course, I'm just joking with you. Uh, but, yes. Yeah, so, we can see him in the distance now. He's got a little bit of red above him. And, apparently, I'm missing him. There he is, look. So, we're destroying a couple of... Destroying the ship this time, which, of course, just makes it even easier. Wow, what a flip I just did there. 10 out of 10 for Shark Daily, bro. Yep, destroyed the boat. This is literally the point where you can just start destroying the boats by um, dodging them. Dodging into them. And obviously what that does as well is, every time they try and shoot you, they're going to keep missing. So it's a win-win, honey. Oh, yeah. But that one was a nice um, mission. That one was very good. Now we're going to do the next mission called the Parrot Trap. And again, with all these uh, side quests, they seem to be shorter and easier than those in the sort of first two. That is because we are on steroids now when we are massive, which makes all the difference. We are basically the Tom Stoltman of the ocean. World's strongest shark. Even if nobody else knows it yet, that's what we are. So remember, there are going to be sharks and uh, the Makos and everything that still want to destroy you. Or the Hammerheads, sorry, this time. So, of course, we're going to destroy them first, or, again, if you want to, smash out the parrots. Not uh, the parrots. The parrot fish. And then just do that. Easier to just get rid of the hammerheads. So we can have a nice time of it. kept Sapphire Bay's local hammerhead healthy and... Alright, so that one is complete. Now we've got another mission to do, which is called the Cabana. Cabana Republic. But what we're going to do first is kill this guy, because he's a douche. Cabana. Cabana Republic. After we get our Tom Stoltman shark to destroy the opposition... Sorry, Tom Stoltman is the world's strongest man, by the way, which is why I keep sort of repeating that. Gotta love that guy. What a legend. So, it's on the very right-hand side of the map, so we're just going to go into the cave first to make things easier. Now, again, I advise highly to, every time you come back to the cave, just see if you can upgrade something. It's worth it. You know, it's worth a shot, because it always comes in handy, even if it's just one thing that we can upgrade for now. Uh, but definitely worth a look before we can head on. And of course, there may be there that you can actually get more upgrades than me, or a little bit less upgrades than me. It literally depends on how many collectibles you've collected so far in this area, and how many fish that you've killed on the way. I was always killing fish on the way places, but again, it doesn't matter, because by the time we collect all collectibles and that anyway in the game, we will be on tier 5 for absolutely everything we need. So, do not panic if you're a little bit less, or a little bit shorter than me. So again, this is just a parrotfish section. There's going to be a hammerhead about again, so just watch out for that guy. Otherwise, you get our Stoltman shark 
And uh, once again, we're going to destroy everything. I like I like my little nickname for my shark. Fish is rarely consumed in the United States, except by sharks and other ocean predators. So, with that done, wow, you'll never guess what we'll have to do now! Yes, that's right, we've got to kill more parrotfish. Why do they just sort of cluster in like 50s in one area? That would just would make life a lot easier, but... You know, we can go for a swim, because... You know, our Stoltman shark did, needs to eat to keep, up his, to keep up his strength, so... You know, we might as well, but... Anyway, that's where we're heading next couple of uh, big ass sharks again obviously it's going to be random of course where the enemies are for you but it shouldn't make a difference because by now we do have our uh, you should have your stockman shark all up to scratch and you should kill absolutely everyone happy days And since we have destroyed El Paratos, we are now going to kill the Apex Os. Apex Boss Os, which again, you know, there is not a particular any, uh, there's not particular any difference to the ones that we've already killed. Um, you know, you're still going to have to be doing your dip, dodge, diving and dicking. Oh, damn it, wrong one again. Uh, but we are going to have to dodge, bite a couple of times, dodge, tail whip. Bite, tail whip, dodge, whatever the hell, whatever particular way that you've found easier to kill everything and everyone, you know, you just, you do, you do you, Hon, you do you. Um, but again, so, so yeah, again, it's not the Apex Armor Head, not 
too difficult at all, not too different than those that we have faced so far, so get in there. Dick that hammerhead. I mean, kill that hammerhead. That's the end of that chapter. Yes. Also, I suppose. Oh, we got a bone boner body now. Uh, but I suppose if we did deck a hammerhead, it would be extremely brave. But I assume it would kind of be a violation against animal rights. So, yeah, I probably wouldn't do that anyway. But you should also have now acquire 50% of all the evolutions at the minute. So you should be getting that achievement if you've been following along with the video so far. You should get that achievement as well as destroying the uh, hammerhead there. So, once again, of course, we need to do uh, we need to get to a certain percentage in this area to be able to get the cutscene for Scaly Pete to appear again. Um, so, what's going to happen this time is, honey, we are going into collectibles mode very soon. So, of course, obviously, it's not going to be any commentary on the collectibles unless there's a really, really hard one. Um, but, oh, honestly, throughout the game, there's not really. Uh, but it's just to show just to show you anyway, because, again, I'm nice like that. So, we are going to the boner body now. And, once again, we're going to upgrade that as much as we can. Um, there should be potentially one or two things that you've got a tier 5. But, like I said, we will get so many collectibles anyway. Um, that we will upgrade everything that we need to tier 5 eventually. So again, don't worry. You should have this anyway. But don't worry if you can't upgrade it uh, once or twice. Like I just did just yet. Now you might be able to upgrade it more than me. In that, in, well, in that case, hey, congratulations, you guys. That means you're better than me. Right then. So now here is the all collected collectible maps for Sapphire Bay. Once again, just like the previous ones. If you would rather just keep this map up, pause it right now on the screen. And then just follow, uh, just keep uh, this map up and then do them yourself. Otherwise, of course, for the next sort of 15 to 20 minutes or so, I will be collecting every single collectible one by one just to show you. So you can either do this or you can follow me. Once again, it is completely up to you. I give you the choice because, well, I'm a caring guy like that. You know what I'm saying, man? You know what I'm saying? But again, I won't be talking because there's no point me going there. The license plate is now you have to go inside of this mountain and there it is. It gets a bit monotonous, a bit boring, and I'm sure you guys would like a break from this seductive Welsh voice, right? <laughs> Goaded by lusty appetites, the shark soul. The sea wolf remains acute. Long a haven for small government ideologues, 
Port Clovis prides itself in its lax amusement. These scavengers of the sea are vital in cleaning the ocean floors of edible and semi-edible detritus. Quite a strange conglomeration of As is well known, volleyballs make way better friends than soccer balls, who will stab you in the back the first chance they get. Not really a gourmet. The predatory scavenger. Shark is never one to pass up a fat fiesta. The rapacious rover is always swimming.
Hunger is a driving force for the... in boat ownership manifests itself in a variety of ways here in Port Clovis. Over the course of a bull shark's life, it will ingest quite a broad assortment of flotsam and jetsam. Shark is able to attain larger ma There's no such thing as a recession-proof business, except for the frozen banana stand, whether boom or bust. While homeless and itinerant hobos will work for a living, they are not to be confused with bums who are sedentary and refuse. She's born. Protein caches like this one are a convenient...
no one can tell what may be found in a shark's stomach, it's truly the ocean's garbage can. Sailors, sharks can uncork a load of surprises. Believe it or not, people paid over $12,000 to sleep in these tents and listen to Swedish DJs for an entire... Sometimes even sharks just need to dirty bulk. The solitary hunter stumbles Most American cities, the founders of Port Clovis were Freemasons, and probably Illuminati, who congregated in. Human attention spans are short. They've already. The appetite of this shark is nearly. In Only someone had done their sixth grade reading assignment, perhaps this tragedy could have been avoided.
this so there we go then we've got everything that we uh, can get for now uh, but we need to be an elder which uh, you do get on level 20 but we need to fight scaly pete again um, so as soon as we fight and beat scaly pete once again and we go back to the grotto in the grotto then we uh, will change into Elder, get the achievement, and we'll be able to destroy a couple more gates. And i.e. get the rest of the collectibles from the previous two um, areas as well. So, finally from here, we can just be massive and get all the collectibles 100% before moving on to the next area. Rather than going back and forth, and back and forth, and back and forth. Mm, 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 mm. That's, uh, yeah, I'm not a very good DJ. Or singer, or rapper, or talker. But still, somehow I do this. So again, uh, since we're back in the ground too, we are going to upgrade whatever we can. Again, we're just going to be sticking with bone armor. I just promise you, with the shadow teeth and the bone armor, it just makes this game way easy. Oh, you know, if you do... The rest of it's not so bad as well, but everything that I choose is basically pretty overpowered once it's all upgraded as well. But of course, if you want to give yourself that bit more of a challenge, you can go bioelectric, you can go shadow... You know, the choice is completely up to you. So, ignore... Everyone's going to try and attack you because, again, you know, you are the Stoltman shark. Everyone's gunning for you, but you can just shove your finger up the pooper. We don't care about that. We are going to fight Scaly Pete, who has a weirdly delectable voice. Delectable, sorry, not delectable. Which is kind of weird for me to say, but I, I, <laughs> I like the voice acting on this guy. And man, he looks pissed! But we're not actually fighting Scaly Pete yet. We're watching the cutscene first and then going to um, another area where we then have to fight Scaly Pete, which. I mean, it adds about a minute or two onto the game, I suppose, but that is where we're going. Now, if you're probably wondering. What can you do to fight Scaly Pete and is it going to be easy? It is going to be easy because what we're going to be doing is our new found trick. We've got our bone armor, we've got our shadow teeth, so rather than just trying to jump up on the boat all the time, we're just going to dodge dick dive ourselves into the boat all the time and just let the boat's armor go down that way. Now again, a lot, a lot of the time what was happening was I kept actually going, the camera was going inside the shark and then that will just put me off. So if that does happen, just quit to the main menu or leave yourself die and then it will it should then revert back to normal. So that happened to me quite a lot on these infamy boss fights and these boss fights. So just um, watch out for that. So of course it's going to be in the cage. So we are just going to keep dodging our way, right bumpering our way into the boat. Boat gets destroyed. As soon as the cage gets destroyed, then I suppose you can jump up if you really want to. Try and bite Sky Scaly Pete off. Oh, Kyle. Um, but of course, what we need to do, um, the reinforcements, the reinforcements are coming, bro. So, Candyman Curtis, that looks like who we killed earlier, but whatever. Everyone seems to look the same in this game. Um, reinforcements, you don't have to worry about them, we're just going to keep attacking the boat, and... Bada boom, bada bing, that takes about a minute or so to do. Job done, enjoy the cutscene. But of course, we're not quite done with Scaly Pete. Anal gland just yet. No, it's ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! We bit off his leg. We bit off his leg. Well, as long as Scaly Pete's still good as Weenie, then he shouldn't be too. You know, you've got another leg. Then that's fine. As long as you got your wiener, then that's all that matters, I suppose. Um, although I probably was in a bit of pain there. So we are now an Elder Shark. Um, now we can literally just get all the collectibles from every region without an issue. And we are pretty... We are old. We've got sagging genitalia now. We can just tell somehow. Uh, but again, take a look at any upgrades that you uh, can possibly get. Uh, but like I said, we're going to have a little... We're going to have a little go here. Just see how... Oof. Oosh! We are just ridiculously huge and monstrous now. Massive meat. Massive blood. So what we're going to do now is actually get the remaining uh, collectible in Sapphire Bay. Plus then go for the four revenges, which were the icons with the sort of shark fin on them on the, on the water. 
um, which for some reason I thought at first we didn't need, but of course we do need because that counts for one, uh, getting everything in 100% in the region. Oh man, just look at that. Look at that. Destroyed with basically one hit. And this, look at that. Gibby! Oh man, we are. Oh god, we are so. We're so cute right now. And this is why you should respect your elders because they can bite and eat the crap out of you. And that's re that is real life advice. Anyway, so what we're doing then, after we just have a little mess about of being as massive as we are, we're just going to head to that last collectible and then do the last four revenges, and that will 100% this region, and then we're going to go back and get the rest of the collectibles in the previous two regions as well, so we can get them out of the way so we don't have to go back. Makes sense, right? Unless you're probably sitting there thinking I'm a douchebag and not doing that, then, hey, the world is your oyster. Random mutations aren't red. Now be killed and publicly displayed to satisfy the city's thirst for revenge. we're going to do this revenge and then we're also going to go for infamy level six again like i said you might have done that already by now or you might not have if you're just following this video but that is what we're going to go for now it's just a lot easier to break up those infamy level sixes because well to do it all at once gets very boring very repetitive very quickly so uh, we've got enough again i edited it down some it, it will take about 10 minutes of destroying boats and killing humans uh, or killing these hunters to be able to get our infamy level all the way around right there. Uh, but those revenges, we've we've done them in the uh, main uh, story mission, so it's literally no difference. You're just killing humans and then being hunted by these hunters for a bit. And that's basically about it. Nothing again too difficult about that, which is always handy. And it's always fun. Um, but eventually, as soon as we kill these douchebags, we're going to get... Uh, our sixth infamy guy. Uh, you can't, you can't leave these uh, Brady Bunch-looking douchebags. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta. Oh, here he is, Butcher Boy Brady. Oh yeah, I fingered my sister once, <laughs> and I liked it. <laughs> yep. I, I assume, or I did a, <laughs> I did a shitload of pull-ups with a fat-ass gut. So he is going to be throwing bombs at us, but what we are going to be doing, of course, is just doing the same thing now, the same tactic that we're always going to be doing for the rest of the game, and that's just, and that is literally just dick dodging into the boat. I'm going to call it dick dodging because that is hilarious, ish, unless it's pretty childish, which is fine too. Uh, but that is all we're going to be doing, just pressing the right bumper, getting into the boat, and obviously the more, there we go, so that is level 24 reached for me personally, hopefully it's the same for you. 
and we are now at infamy level six so again that is just the same tactic they're going to always be using the right bumper uh, smashing yourself into the boat because that is that literally just makes life a ton easier and we barely get hurt it's kind of like uh, an invincibility cheat of sorts so let's get ahead, do the rest of the revenges so we can 100% this region and move on to the previous one to complete them. Unless, of course, again, you're calling me Douchebag McBrady and you're moving on to the next region. It's up to you. used to be my favorite lighthouse. keep a name. Finding their prey. At least until things quiet down or they run out of hard lemonade. Sapphire Bay, like yesterday. Now we can finally say thank you all come again but we're not sure and we're not actually going to be coming again to this area we are completely done with sapphire bay now it's a beautiful looking bay but sorry hans we are not coming back we have completely done everything right now so that's all quests uh, completing everything and all collectibles as well so now what we can do is just go back to the previous two golden shores and dead horse lake which of course had a couple of elder gates and we've got to do the revenges as well um, which, again, apologies about not doing the revenges first. For some reason, I really didn't think we would need to do them. But of course we do, <laughs> because it's part of the region. So, there we go. So, we're going to go back to Dead Horse Lake first. Now, we are just going to finish them. Now, of course, there were a couple of license plates which were incredibly out of reach, which we couldn't get until we became an elder. So what we're going to do is just go back to the right-hand side, the very beginning of, the, of this section, grab the last uh, nutrient cache there from the elder grate, and then we can go back and get the rest of the license plate. Now, with those license plates... Um, it, 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 it may seem impossible, but all you need to do is just get yourself into a good position. So, it's literally just a case of um, going where I am and literally, again, not mashing the A button or the left trigger, but sort of one, 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 rather than... Do you know what I mean? So, that is basically the best way you can get those license plates. It's just not mashing the A button, but as one sort of... One second, one second, one second... To sort of bite yourself up three times in the air. But that is the best advice I can give. So don't panic and don't stress yourself out. Don't throw your controller. And don't headbutt the wall. It, it all hurts if you can't do it. Just 
You can't do it. See? There we go. And it wasn't even that one that was the problem. Um, it was going to be this one right here. Right next to the cave. Which I thought we could get as an adult. But now we will be able to see just how to get this. Because of course there's going to be a couple of license plates in the next couple of areas as well. Which are going to potentially do your head in. But you need to... If you get yourself too underneath it and you start going up straight, you'll basically end up doing a backflip. So you do need to get yourself at a bit of an angle um, to be able to jump sort of high enough without doing a backflip. So as soon as you, you know, you should be able to get it down. There we go then. So you just sort of need to get yourself not too straight but at a bit of an angle. That is the best advice that I can give you for that one. But the collectibles are almost done. We're going to crack on with the four Avengers. We're going to do that. And then the same with Golden Shaw. And then we can move on once more. Traveling around, we are constantly... Perhaps having gone too far with her pranks and hijinks, is now the subject of a county-wide shark hunt. Well, most lakes should be embarrassing, right? But in Port Clovis, they put up money. Excuse me, this is a public service announcement. I am Stolpin Shark and I'm here to break up this brother-sister orgy. Thank you, goodbye. Say what you want. Them hobos, good workers. Unlike my son. Kill another fit hunt comes to a close. The bull's primary hunting method. Oh, 
Let us eat 10. There is 10. That is that. Dead Horse Lake is done. Now we can get out of the AIDS infected waters. Which is just fantastic for us, really. Because, uh, you know, we're an elder now. We shouldn't be uh, exposed to all of these dirty, murky, STD infected waters. Because we could die. That is not what we want for our Queen Shark right now. But, since we are done, uh, basically we are still being searched for. So that is why at the minute we cannot go um, to the next cave, to the next grotto. We're going to have to wait for just a moment before we head to Golden Shores, finish that off, and then we can finally go to L next uh, region, which means we've only got three regions left to complete now. Yeah, a breeze would be nice. Whew, that's a tale to tell. Yeah. Over and off brand cinnamon Historically, overdevelopment of the shoreline leads to a wide variety of negative environmental impacts. But you should see the Italian design walk in closets inside these condos. has a well-developed sense of curiosity. <laughs> the shark hunter is the only thing keeping tourists from a nasty, horrible death. Outside of just avoiding the beach for a few hours. growing cotton and rice and started growing luxury vacation homes. another reckless campaign of extermination.
is an animal of broad dietary proclivities. It's here in the grotto that the shark can discover the absolute serenity deep within her soul. sharks in their place. Hunters ensure they'll stay in their lane, so we don't have a Planet of the Apes situation on our hands. We think the people parties always end in a fight over whether Poodle Wheat and Terry make should be called a Woodle. And once we've gobbled the balls up off this guy, we are done! Fantastic! Golden Shore's done. So, finally, we are at the point of the game where we don't have to backtrack anymore. We're getting very close now to level 30, which, by the way, is the max level you can get in the game. Um, to be honest, when we do get to level 30, it, I, I hate it when there's a max level in games. Because it just gets the... It's kind of fun to grind up levels. I don't know about you guys. I love grinding up in levels. So when we hit the max, it kind of it gets a bit boring for me. But we, um, hey, so what's got to be done? We've still got to get the 100% in the remaining three areas. So that is what we shall go for. Let's just stop being searched for for a minute. You think these hunters and divers and everything would have learnt their lessons by now, but uh, no, apparently not. Apparently, Scaly Pete and his seemingly never-ending crew, infinite crew, are still trying to hunt me. And because we are the world's strongest shark, we are Stoltman Shark, we will never die. <laughs> it's just that easy. So 100% the four out of seven areas. Well, there is eight, um, but that's... Literally only got 20 collectibles in it. It's very easy, and we'll do that basically at the end of the game. The seven main areas of the game is what, of course, I meant. So, now all we have to do is just get away to Prosperity Sands. And all you're doing is just following the path. It's a nice, easy path. Assuming I start going somewhere <laughs> just then. And... Like I said, sometimes on the right-hand side, you will have to get to a specific infamy level. So, if you're wondering why the hell you haven't got the ability to get the Scaly Peak cutscene up yet, just check what you have to do. Sometimes you might have to get up an infamy level if you haven't been following the video. Then, just in case. So, let's do us some upgrades now. Again, it's literally just a case of upgrading, as I've said plenty of times, we're just upgrading whatever we can up to tier 5, all the bone body armor, the bone fins, the bone head, the bone er, <laughs> still funny, I don't care, uh, the shadow teeth, the heart organs, and the advanced sonar, the third organ, you can literally choose whatever else sounds good to you, to be honest, so a bit of fat digestion, 
you know, for those who are continuously about eight stone when wet, fat digestion will come in a lot of handy. The underwater world is a fantasia, bustling with color and activity. Prosperity Sands features glittering white beaches fenced off for the sole enjoyment of the ultra-rich, mega-rich, and super-rich. Sharks usually hunt alone, though they may occasionally team up with other bull sharks to outwit prey. Once and here we are, then we are at Prosperity Bay Grotto. Um, there are a there is a new enemy. I believe the orca is in this particular area. Pretty sure it is, um, but apologies if it's not. If it's not here, it's definitely the next one. Um, but we've got a couple of mahi-mahi fish, which again, just like the rest of the wiener fish, will not attack you. They just want to be inside of you. Th through, through your mouth, of course. They just want to be eaten. Doi. So we're going for the first uh, main mission, Raj and me. And it's literally just destroying this boat. Now, as we've done plenty of times throughout the course of this game so far, especially with the infamy levels and beating Scaly Pete, we're just going to dodge down, dick and dive our way straight into the boat. Destroy that, and that'll be this first side quest done. Looks like our shark. This crawler 
operated by Roger Cantrell, recently broke the state record for number of rep- And there we are then. Oh, and we've also got to level 27 as well now. So, we are three levels away from becoming the Mega Shark. Mega, it just always means better, right? You can't get any better than Mega. Unless you count sort of ultimate or infinite as a better word than Mega, then hey, I'll leave the arguments up to you. Um, but we are going to seal their fate, which is a very hilarious play on words. Um, <laughs> because that is what we needed to be doing in this area, is killing ten seals. But, of course, you're always going to get the big boy enemies trying to kill you. I don't know why they're protecting the seals. Maybe, I don't know, maybe they, they, their mother had sex with a seal and they had their little baby seals. And their mother's like a big old shark and it's probably frowned upon in the ocean. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just making stuff up as I go along. But that is what you need to do. So go kill the seals anyway. I'm a shut up. Many crimes, so thus ends the bounty. So, not an orca, um, the, the orca whale is in the next area, we are of course getting the great white sharks, which I probably should have known, so, my bad, my bad. Anyway, kill the seals, and let's go to the next quest. While fostering a balanced ecosystem is a complex and multifaceted process, what harm could arise from killing a bunch of seals? So apparently there haven't been any shark deaths in Prosperity Sands for a good while, thanks to Scaly Pete. But what we're going to do now is specifically, as the title says, disturb the peace in Prosperity. So again, this is just the revenges that we've done plenty of times before. You destroy humans, spit out the disgustingness that is probably the uh, American teenage STD um, genitalia. You don't want that. You're an elder now, so that'll kill you straight off, really. Uh, but anyway, just kill 15 humans and get the fur on out of there. Conventional apprehension methods having failed, authorities send out a motley collection of untrained, unlicensed individuals to do their work for them. In 129 days, Prosperity Sands ain't had no shark attacks. So with that quest complete, now we're going to go to the next one. There's, um, there's not going to be any really messing about this time. Um, we're just going to go literally smash out each quest as quick as we can. And then do the whole collectible thing again. But now we're going for off the menu, which would be a shame because I bet seal tastes fantastic. Of course, I'm, I'm just joking. I, I don't know. I've never had seal. I've never been to that part of the world, so please don't hate me. But what we're going to do is, as a Stoltman shark, that is exactly what we're going to do. We're going to have to get our protein yum yums on. Kill ten. Of course, watch out for the one or potential two great whites that are about. Sure. For now.
I mean, I'm definitely no expert or anything, but these are very shallow waters for great whites to be chilling out and about. Am I just stepping onto your boat and being swallowed whole immediately? Now, that depends on what you like, really, but... Hmm. <laughs> and uh, what are we doing then? We're going for some more seals. Apparently, seals are an incredible problem in this area. No, so, that's what we're going to do. You know the drill, people. Kill seals, kill great whites, become the Stoltman of the ocean. The parrotfish, while primarily algae eaters, are considered omnivores. And this is actually going to be the last mission we do before we are going to hit the Apex Predator. Uh, ooh, level 28 as well, look. So that's nice. So we're already on level 20. So if you've been following along with the video, getting all the collectibles, you should be on roughly around level 28. Royal Flush. That's the Queen's Poop. Uh... Apparently, or something. I don't really know. Anyway, that is what we're going to do. We're going to kill the Apex Predator. If you want, of course, you can just head back to the grotto. Uh, try and get some upgrades if you haven't already. Otherwise, we're going to get our steroid injection in. And we're going to go and fudge up some shnit. You know what I'm saying? Are you ready for this? Ah, I, I, I feel like I should get the uh, old gladiators uh, saying... Are ye ready? Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus Christ. So, like I said, as always, it's the same sort of thing. A couple of bites, a tail whip, dodge, and wait till he glows and get the biggest hit you can. He's level 29, but don't worry, you are better than he. I say as he actually just uh, destroys me there for a second. <laughs> between two open water predators and pretty much as everyone expected. The Great White. But nothing is no match for the Stoltman Shark and with that we get a bone tail as well which I mean, this, with the tail whipping coming in handy, it comes in incredible handy as well. Um, as it always will. Now, we've got our next cutscene here with old Skatey Balls Pete. So, the, uh, we'll just sort of get this one out of the way anyway. Pete, what's in the barrels? Fish food. Pete, the says 
Can I ask you not to do it? I'm gonna get... Well, what a complete son of a bitch! How dare he? Man, why is he trying so hard to kill me? Look, you lost your hand, you lost your leg, you lost something else pretty important to you as well. And I'm not talking about that kind of thing. Um, just, just let it go, man. I've won. But since he's going to keep coming and he's poisoned the waters, uh, <coughs> well, <coughs> we'll just have to not go back to the previous region. So what we are going to do now, we've done everything in this particular region, so we are now going to uh, get any upgrades that we can. Of course, just making we got a bone tail, so we're going to stick that on ourselves. Upgrade that as much as you can, and then we are going into collector bubble mode. And then after this, we've got caviar keys and the gulf to go, and then that's basically the end of the game. So here once again then is of course the all collected collectibles map, so once again completely up to you if you'd rather pause the video, have a look at this, or you can just follow along with all the collectibles on the way that I go, it is completely up to you. And with whatever you choose then, hey, you enjoy it. You have earned this, my friends. Well, after you get all the collectibles, then you have earned the achievement. <laughs> In the not-so-distant future, a young visionary entrepreneur will spot these three shells while snorkeling. dish in spite of being one of the top five fish for potential mercury poisoning. While they appreciate human sacrifices, the eldritch gods of yore are seldom enthused about being summoned to Port Clover. In the process of running away from a shark, you leave your valuables unattended and they get stolen. That's your fault. Shop here, right there. Nowhere else in town got that mango butter facial scrub I like. A successful casino heist is made even harder when you drive off the road into the ocean and drown. In the kill or be killed world of the sea, 
performance-enhancing mutagens provide benefits that could mean the difference between life and death. An insatiable fish, the bull shark is nine tenths appetite. Don't feel too bad. 87% of all Mahi Mahi die within their first year. Blah, blah, late-stage capitalism. Port Clovis considered removing these naval mines after the war, but the city had already spent its annual budget booking a nickelback cup. Disturbs the serenity of an otherwise calm sea, the shark is finding. Don't know nothing about no raves. When you throw in a fatal door on the beach at night, you just ask him to get bit. Clovis plays host to the Megasonic Electro Carnival, giving a real boost to the local MDMA. This instantized
The bull shark is known to be a voracious, if hardly discriminating, eater. While it can be fun to explore the land, it's always best for sharks to stay wet and oxygenated. A bouncy has been posted. The shark will have to be cautious until the hunters grow blue. We are now level 30, so as soon as we go back and get to the grotto, we are going to be a mega. Now, sadly, uh, level 30 is the cap in the game, which is a bit annoying. It sort of takes the thrill out of leveling up then, obviously, since we can't level up anymore. Um, but... <laughs> Hey, we have made it. So this is what I mean. When you collect all the collectibles and everything, it's so easy to get to uh, level 30. So even if you're a level or two behind, seriously, honestly, do not worry. What we are also going for as well right now, we are going for infamy level 7 now. No particular reason for it. Um, but, you know, I thought it was about time. We are starting to come towards the final couple of areas in the game. So we might as well get the infamy level up as well. Be absolutely huge. So... You know the drill, buddy. The toast of the coast, Lieutenant, Shannon Sims. Lieutenant Shannon Sims. Wow, what a what a badass. Aha. Uh -huh. You see? You see? This happened too busy long. And I'm only leaving this particular editing because we're going to die. Um, and we're gonna go back to the grotto, of course, anyway. And that's gonna give me that's gonna give us our mega achievement. But for somebody with a whole bunch of bombs, a whole bunch of dives down there, it really does take a long time for him to kill us. Kind of makes you think about the state of the uh, USC, the, the US Navy, the US, I was going to say USC people then. It's early in the morning here, so just, <laughs> just ignore me, for the love of God. So, we have finally died then, even though we literally just stayed there, give, us, give them all the ammunition. And now we are something, we are like a 15 inch wang. Just incredible, unstoppable, and goddamn painful for anyone that ever looks at it or touches it. Oof. Super hardcore. So now, well, like I said, for the leveling up part, that is done. But of course, we still need to upgrade a lot, so it's still, uh, it's still very relevant to be you know, killing fishes on the way past, and obviously we'll be getting all the collectibles anyway, just so we can upgrade everything we can. Oh man, look at that spin! God damn, I feel like a goddamn badass now! But, of course, what we are going to be doing is still going for that infamy level 7. Like I said, by now you might have uh, level 7, level 8, whatever you've got by now. But, if you haven't, we'll just get it together. Because, hey... Viewer, I love you. That's a lot of love, I hope. <laughs> so, here we go then. So, the stupid goddamn glitch. Again, that happened to me more times during infamy and boss fights than I can't care to imagine. It's a goddamn pain in the ass. Right then, so. Now, we've just got this incredible power. <laughs> extra incredible power. Where these boats are going to go down in just a couple of hits. And this, this is what we're going to keep doing. We're going to keep dodge diving, digging, dicking, dodge diving. 
into the boats and eventually somehow I feel like the mega shark is too big for these waters and there she goes death death upon you Shannon right there we go so we're all good now <laughs> now we can just crack on with the collectibles no idea why I decided to do it there just you know mix things up a bit as it was <laughs> After the end of the tiki craze, bar owners toss their Polynesian-inspired decor into the gulf. This protein supplement has zero additives, so the shark doesn't have to worry about hitting artificial colors or flavors. discovered that their Stonehenge replica was astronomically misaligned, enraged Port Clovians threw it in the ocean. shark is a sort of super scavenger, completely lacking in what may be called dietary discrimination. shark demonstrates the importance of getting enough minerals in her diet. Supercharged with gene-altering mutagens, that sometimes the construction of second and third homes supersedes considerations like loss of species diversity. Some sharks are scavengers. Shark uses lipids from high fat. This trimaran, like many before it, was lost in its journey to the mythological dry land.
This mineral supplement wouldn't be... stalk their prey, fully aware of the grisly horrors that await them upon a single mist. <laughs> in ancient America. of drowning while surfing, but at least you'll leave behind a cool-looking skeleton. The hunt comes to a close. Here we go then, this should be the final license plate and that is Prosperity Sands 100% complete. And it's one of these ones, luckily it's not as complicated. You know, a lot of them are not complicated, the jumps might just take a couple of jumps. But, you know, it's a pain in the ass when you're jumping a couple of times and nothing's happening and the jumps don't even complete the jumps and then you're jumping over jumping nothing for jump all. <sighs> anyway, so, <laughs> since we are done with that now, obviously we're not going to Sapphire Bay because we're going to get poisoned. We're going to grow like three dicks and 12 titties and, you know, some aid infested crustals on our mouth or something. I, I don't know. I'm not an ocean expert, as it were. Can you tell? <laughs> I bet you couldn't tell. But we are going to Caviar Key now. Um, now, obviously, I'm just um, wondering what the best, where the best route to go is. And there's basically only one route you can go. So we're sort of just following it around, going in into the middle. Now, this is where we now are going to find the Orca. 
So the Orca Whales are going to take... The, again, they're not as bad. They are just like all other enemies. But for me, they seem to be a bit quicker and a bit more angrier. So, you know, just be careful of that. I, I tended to do quite a bit more dodging with these Orcas. Um, but again, it's nothing that you ain't seen just yet. So enjoy the swimming. It, it starts to get deep. We start to see weird fish. I'm sure I've seen Spongebob, Squidward and Patrick somewhere right down there as well. Welly, 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 look what's back, the mighty alligator. You're not so mighty now, are you? Remember me? I killed all your family. Sorry. The Caviar Keys Grotto. Here we are, let's do some quests. We've only got two areas to go, so let's do it up the mo. Whatever the hell that means. So this time, um, now everything is slightly repetitive. It's kill ten somethings, this time we've got to kill ten turtles, but of course we need to be looking out for said Orcas, they are dangerous, they are angry, and for some reason, they want to take all their anger out on us. It's probably because we have just been crowned world's strongest shark, and they're a bit jealous, but you know, that's fine, that's fine. The mighty alligator is no more, so let us head to Turtle Town. Now, quite a few of these I actually tried to avoid the orca. Um, you know, in little areas like this, there they are, look. Look, normally they look all cute and happy, and this time now they just want to chomp off your bloody turtleneck. Ah! Anyway, yeah, in sort of bigger areas, I do tend to try and avoid the big area, uh, the big enemies, just like we were doing at sort of the beginning of the game when we were a little pupper. Uh, just go straight for the main quest. Sometimes, of course, though, it can't be helped. I.e. as in just a moment because he's going to eat our ass from somewhere. Oh, there he is, look. <laughs> hey, buddy, you're kind of looking like a beached whale there. <laughs> Oh, never mind. Ah, ah, he beached himself again. What a stupid asshole. And please, for anyone who likes orcas, please don't at me or hate me for using the word asshole for an orca.
So now we are doing our regular hunt. Again, that's H. Uh, that's hunt with a H, not with a C. Um, and it, this is a level 35 orca. Now, again, for some reason with these orcas, I got nervous. Like, like I thought they were just going to kick my ass all the time. But it never, it never worked out like that. So honestly, just do not worry yourself. Orcas really are just a big bunch of flanges. There's nothing, nothing that you can't do against them. As a shark, anyway. As a human, I probably wouldn't go up against one. But as a mega shark, yeah, I'm certain I'm pretty confident. Especially since we've got an apex boss orca to fight as well. So, yeah. So here we go then. And like I said, they are a little bit faster. They seem a little bit more dangerous, but honestly, in the in the eyes of you, they are just a puppy dog. So as long as you're just doing the same tactics, but I would not go head on with a hunted orca. I would always dodge until they uh, fly past you, and then just try and get as quick as you can because they they do hurt. They do hurt. The gulf is vast, 600,000 square surface miles to be exact, making it fifth among the world's cities. Ocean waters are driven constantly by tides, currents, and Saudi-owned supercars. After years of eating this, and you are brown bread, baby. And if anyone doesn't know what that means, that's uh, English slang for dead. Brown bread. I forget which part of uh, Britain that comes from, but you know, it's still funny. So next thing we need to do, we're basically doing a revenge type thing now. Uh, so we're just going to kill 10 humans. It's sort of in this uh, orca water park. Um, so you can go all the way around if you want. But honestly, it's just easier to jump for your life. You know, you've got you've got everything. You've got the looks. You've got the personality. You've also got now the jumping ability. So, you know, who wouldn't want to be you? And who wouldn't want to get a piece of you? Anyway, we've got <laughs> we've got humans dotted all around as per usual. Now this is where we will actually be fighting the orca apex whale a little bit later on. Uh, yeah, the apex orca. What did I just say? Anyway, this is where the boss fight's happening later on. So you know, get yourself a little bit familiar if you want. But for now, let's just eat some douchebags and enjoy. would be more practical simply to close the beaches. But why do that when you can just set loose a gang of amphetamine fuel bloggers with guns? Yes. I can't three of them kind of whales, they got their fish fingers. You could say I got a real keen eye for talent. So then, we have done that main quest, but what we are going to do now is actually get a little bit of Mama Maybell in our life. A little bit of Maybell in our life. And we are going for Infamy level 8. Now, you see all these boats are like level 42 and stuff, but honestly, it's it, it means nothing. It, it, it's generally like penis size. As long as you know how to use it, it generally means nothing. Um, so, do, so don't let anybody tell you it's too small when you use it correctly, okay? Okay? Sorry, that's not a personal thing, I don't think. Um, but what we are going to do, we are just going to destroy the boat. It's literally the same tactic every time, so don't worry that these boats are going to get stronger. It really doesn't make a difference, it just means that more people show up to eat you and kill you. But of course, with more hunters, we can actually eat them more, so we can keep our health nice and delicious. But also, what you will find with the later levels of infamy, as you can see now, 
um, says incoming, um, and basically they all just piss off. So in instead of coming, we've actually got to go and search for them, which that always happens, right? That that's what happens when you're a fugitive, either shark bait or you know on land. <laughs> So, that is exactly what we've got to do. We are going to have to go and search for them. Even though they know where they are. Do they not have radios? Do they not just have... I mean, surely this is the day and age where you just whip out a quick text and go, Oh, right, uh, the shark's just, you know, just in that area. Tracking devices, anything? No. So, they, st <laughs> they stop searching for us. So, now we have to go and destroy other people, ruin other people's lives just to be attacked so the knockoff Lady Dimitrescu can um, try and kill us. Mm, that's nice. Mayor's practice of hiring Fijian shark. Well, Jesus Christ, you took a goddamn time. Yes, she is level 46, and kind of looks like we are. Oh, sorry, did, did we disturb you donut eating or something? Oh, she grabbed the boobies. I don't know why, because she's just about to go, <laughs> she's just about to die and drown, but uh, there we go. We've got to look good before death, I suppose, haven't we? I know I am. I'm going to get fake boobies installed before I die, so it confuses the crap out of everyone. <laughs> anyway, same tactic as always. You're just um, hitting the boat, duck diving, dodging, dicking your way through the boat. Right bumper, of course, as you may already well know. And that is just going to easily destroy the boat. There it is. Bam. So we also get a bioelectric tail as well with that, which is quite nice. But thanks to uh, our boner armor... We don't need it. But thanks anyway. Okay, thanks. B. Now what we can do then? Now literally getting away from the boat is a lot easier than in other areas. You can just literally dive straight down and then they lose sight of us. Ha! What a bunch of losers. Anyway, we can now carry on with the main quest and we're going to go for slow pokes. Um, so as soon as they stop searching for us, we're just going to head back to the grotto, see if we can get any upgrades, and then we are going to head there for another bunch of turtles. Now there is a spermalicious whale. Um, personally, I didn't even find them as bad. They're like level 45, but I didn't find them as bad as the orcas, which was very weird. But they are in the next area in the gulf, so we don't even need to worry about them for now. <laughs> Sperm. A quiet space is the ideal stage for the shark to meditate and harness her pure potentiality. So this one is actually nice, there's nothing that is trying to kill us. Oh, actually yes there was. <laughs> My bad, I must have just killed him very quickly there. Um, but it's no level 30 orca. I'd be very surprised if there was a level 30 orca mine in this little pool area. You'd be dead soon. Uh, so this one is a lot easier than the previous ones. There we go, that Mako, that Mako didn't even bother trying to kill us then, because he knows Ooh, we got the Stoltman World's Strongest Shark game on. Etc, etc. 
So here we go then, we have done with that bit again now. And we've got... Wow, would you believe it? We've got to kill another 10 pissing turtles. Jesus Christ, how many turtles are in the friggin' area, man? To this place of center... Just keep swimming, just keep swimming, just keep swimming. Hello, mateys. That was a really, really poor attempt there. If you know, you know. So, while we are here killing a bunch of turtles, we're also just going to get this hunt out of the way. Again, that's hunt with an H, not with a Z. Um, <laughs> so, we're just going to get this sort of one sort of collectible out of the way there, the hunt. And it's only a level 18 hunted hammerhead, so we should get this, no problems. But, just showing you where it is, just in case. And then we can carry on killing 10 turtles. Excuse me, I'm just trying to, you know, carry on, trying to get through it. Would you get out my goddamn way? This is it then, the, honestly, the one, the only boss in the entire game, or the only apex in the entire game that uh, gave me a little bit of bag of nerves for some reason. Uh, this orca now is level 40, but honestly, it's not as bad as all that. Um, obviously, it is in the... Uh, little water park, of course, as you can see down there from earlier on. There are quite a number of fish in there, but it's not as easy as just swimming away and quickly grabbing one because the orca is fast and it can catch up to you. Uh, but it is just a case of literally getting your bites in and just do dodging the hell out of there quick. Um, again, this level 40 orca can be quick. It can be dangerous. So again, I wouldn't go for it head on either. Um, but yeah, I really, really don't... Even the... Sperm whale in the next area, the apex sperm whale, gave me no trouble. But it's only just because he was super quick that he uh, done my little testicles in a little bit and done my nutter butters in. So let's just get there first. And actually, the way we do get there, we are having to go through the pipes. Now, this. <laughs> it's not too bad. Because originally, when we get, we've got to go through a, a specific series of pipes now. Just follow the same path I do. There, there is only generally one path you can go. Um, and he does stay there. But if you do die and you go to go back through it, he can actually swim through the pipes. And obviously that just makes that boss fight difficult beyond belief. So as soon as it, uh, it should start appearing now, the whole... The Apex Killer, yeah, uh, got a big nothing, anyway, uh, but uh, yeah, as soon as it starts, we literally, we can't be dawdling around and hanging about, there it is then, so no need to be hanging around in the pipes because the Apex Orca can get through the pipes, and like I said, that'll just make your life hell beyond belief, so we need to get out as quickly as possible, and like I said, this is more of a dodging match. Remember, there are fish around, so just try and stay around, try and stay near as much fish as you can. Um, but again, it's just a case of dodging, bite once or twice, dodge. The 
tail whipping for me personally didn't work as well and that's how quickly he can get you so just try and sort of swim near uh, as many fish as you can and just eat some when you are feeling a little low on the old health of beanie but come on you got this Ready for this? The York is going to go for a home run. <laughs> yeah, so that is what they can do as well. So you're going to have to be very careful. Try and get in the middle of the pool. I should have gone a lot more further in there. Um, but I just about got away with that. So there we go then. That was, um, again, for whatever reason, it, uh, hopefully you feel a, little, a, a, a lot less nervous than I did. For some reason, I genuinely... Did not enjoy that apex fight in the slightest, but it can be done. We just got to dodge a bit more and try and swim near as many fish as we can. But that is that. And like I said, the main thing is if you die, the orca can swim through the pipes. So when we get back there, you need to swim through and get back in there as quickly as you can. So um, that is that then for the main quest. So we've got woo! We've got the golf to go, baby. The golf to go. But what is going to happen now, we are going to get through the collectibles now. Here is the completely bad news. Um, halfway through recording the collectibles, uh, my power completely, completely shut down. Um, which is just an incredible annoyance. So we've got the bonehead. Now look how god... <laughs> sorry. Look how goddamn scary that looks. Now if that's not enough to scare all your kids, then, well, I don't know what will. Because that is pretty terrifying. But it looks so goddamn cool. But yes, uh, we'll just again, we, obviously we'll be doing a, the upgrading, get the bonehead. Ah, but Beavis, butthead and bonehead. Right, there we go. So now we can go off with the collectibles. Now, as I was saying, sadly the power shut down about halfway through. So, obviously I've got the all collected collectibles map. And I'm going to leave it for an extra 30 seconds. I've only been leaving it for about 30 seconds before moving on and getting all of the collectibles. But um, I ended up getting all of the top ones first. I swimming up to the top, getting about 74% of the way through. And then the power shut down just as I was sort of heading down towards the south end of the... Excuse me, south end of the map. So... Again, hi, hi, big, big apologies for that. I really... Well, let's just say... Um, there were a few swear words and pissed off was a bit of an understatement there. So again, I do apologise. But luckily, you know, with the collectibles through the game, these are the same. They're just easy enough. Uh, so again, just pause the video and obviously just go through the top ones if you want. Do the same uh, that you've been doing. Whatever is making it easier for you. And then what's going to happen then is... We uh, we came back 76% of the way through, which was about sort of halfway down the map as we were heading south. So as you can see there, I managed to get all the ones at the top, 
Don't worry about the big question mark at the top there. That's just a gate. That's not a collectible. Um, yeah, so just an absolute big pain in the ass. And once again, I do apologize absolutely massively. Um, was an absolute piss take. But um, th that, sadly, that is the way it is. But again, luckily, the collectibles are not so bad. They are quite easy to find, so do not worry yourselves. Otherwise... The rest of the collectibles, once again, are just a breeze. Unless we're going underground and going through pipes, which can be slightly confusing, in which case, this is why I have the video. <laughs> random mutations aren't random. They require large amounts of mutagens as a catalyst. Unaware, the noose around its neck tightens thanks to a crack team of shark hunters. Build that boardwalk high, because you just asking for a shark attack how you got it now. Shockingly, this was only Alex's second worst birthday. This bull shark should keep in mind that all sharks urinate through their skin. Protein cash. will often call for backup upon spotting their prey. Sprouting up these past few years. Put some of my own money in this. Gonna be a laser tag fun pop. Let's get this over with. 
If a T-Rex is your favorite dinosaur, then you're boring and unoriginal and you need to pick a different... Clovis City Council never misses an opportunity for cross-franchising. The Sea Wolf remains acutely aware of anything that might constitute food. Orcas do enjoy playing with toys, but not half as much as a day-old seal carcass. Hunger is a driving force for the bull shark. So, after we grab this one then, we should now get the achievement for 100%ing Caviar Keys. Of course, these uh, little uh, collectible guide there was a little bit shorter thanks to the extreme annoyance. Screw you, Hammerhead! You turned my power off, you dead hole! Sorry, no, not the Hammerhead's fault. My fault. My fault, of course. Well, it's my power's fault. But still, hopefully, you know, you would have got that. 100% and now we can move on to the gulf so once again it's the same sort of thing we've got to kill 10 different things do a hunt do a revenge kill the apex boss and then we can finally kill scaly pete once and for all scaly pete is the final boss i don't know if you knew that was coming or not but i assumed it was fairly obvious since he's uh, been riding our ass not literally of course because then we would have eaten his dick. Uh, not literally, of course, but <laughs> you know what I mean. So here we go then. So the gulf is obviously the biggest area in the game. A uh, bunch of whole uh, spunky belunky worms about. Worms. Sperm whales, not spunk worms. Obviously that's not a thing. So we'll upgrade everything that we possibly can again. We'll get all upgrades before the end of the game anyway, so... Uh, literally, again, it, it shouldn't matter, but we should be more or less there now. I think you should be right down the money. And anyway, we've got another whole bunch of collectibles to grab anyway, so that shouldn't be a bother. So here we go then. Now, the certain ten animals that we've got to kill, it, they've been the ones that don't attack us. We've had seals, turtles, crayfish, and your mum's fish, and your, your dad's ass fish, and your that in your nan sells avon fish and all that um but this time we are going to have to kill a bunch of hammerheads which seems fun on the surface 
but gets annoying when sort of three or four attack. It's still very easy though. Uh, but this is with the the point is here that we don't um, obviously interact with the big enemies, the sperm whales, because trying to kill ten ham heads and trying to kill a level forty five sperm whale can get slightly overwhelming potentially sometimes. So we just ignore them. Uh, I got no idea what I'm doing here though. Come on, douchebag! Ah, there we go, look, we got some movement. Uh, apologies about that, I got no idea what the hell that was then. Getting confused about nothing. So again, you can go to literally anyone, you can follow the video as you've been doing, of course. Bonehead. <laughs> it's such a harmless yet hilarious insult. So hammerheads, you might as well get used to killing them, uh, because that is what we're going to be killing a lot of. Sometimes it's five, uh, sometimes it's ten, it's usually ten, we're going to kill, go and do a revenge first, kill the five humans. Um, and basically the humans are not on boats anymore, they're hunted divers, so they're going to be attacking you a lot more of course, so just be aware of that one as well. So they're not on dry land chilling, they are going to want to have your ass on a plate, which I suppose doesn't taste that nice, I suppose anyone's ass doesn't taste that nice. Why do people eat ass? What is that? <laughs> Conventional apprehension methods having failed. Authorities send out a motley... We made some real bad fish skills because of these oil tankers spinning. But it brings a lot of money into the economy. Can't argue with that. So we have completed that. Now, weirdly, the quests genuinely, for some reason, seem to be easier in the Gulf. I don't know why. I don't know if it's just because we are level 30 Stoltman legendary status now or what. But uh, what we're going to do is basically just destroy one boat. Now, obviously, ordinarily what you do is go to the grotto. So it just saves a little bit of time. But sadly, I've been searched... I've been searched for so long, I actually end up going past the grotto, and then we just swim to the location instead. So that's it then. Kill what you want on the way past, but all you're doing is destroying one boat. One singular tit boat. And then we're good to go for the rest. Hunt ends, but this is a mere pause in the eternal struggle between man and nature. A mouse say cheese, say cheese and die. Hey, cheese, you die now. Uh, also, the next quest is directly below us as well. So, as you can see, just come up, swim with the sharks, kill ten hammerheads. But first, we'll say, cheese, a mouth, die. Ah, okay, there we go. It's making me look bad for a second there. So, that's as easy as that. But the next quest is directly below us. Now, this is what I mean now. So, there will always be one... Um, big spunky belunky whales swimming about. So literally what I do, I just keep my eye on him because honestly, personally, we've hit level 30. I haven't got a particular mega reason to want to get into a fight with him just yet. So keep your eye out for where, where the whale is. There are plenty of hammerheads about. Just keep your eye out for the whale and sort of try and avoid it. Try and avoid it. It, it literally just saves pissing about and saves a couple of extra minutes or so. Human's attention spans are short. They've already forgotten about the shark and her many crimes, so it's the battle.
needs to eat over a ton of food every day. So, with that one done then, again, obviously there may be quite a few that will attack you as well, so obviously, you know, don't worry about that, even though all they do is like, they, they, all they're going to leave is, tis but a scratch. Hello, Mr. Sperm Dog. How are you doing? Let's just move away from you. Uh, so, the next one we're going to then is d basically directly opposite the grotto in the grotto. Uh, directly opposite, kill another 10 hammerhead, so the tactics is exact, exact, the tactic is exactly the same. Um, I almost forgot my tactic for a minute. Um, <laughs> try not to interrupt with the sperm whale, keep checking where he is, avoid him, kill the hammerheads, and get your shark ass out of there. There we go then, that one is also done, so obviously the less sperm we interact with, the better, you don't want that sticking on your conscience, or you don't want that sticking around, all on you, no no no, it gets a bit, uh, you know, the sperm, if sperm leaves their taste in your mouth then it gets a bit dry and a bit sticky and it's not just not what we want, no 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 no. So we do have to do another one of these, and... Very annoyingly, it's all the way on the other end of the map, basically. Um, now, you can actually, if you want to, you can go to the grotto, choose a shadow armor. That helps you swim, like, a little bit faster, but, you know, what's the difference? There <laughs> literally is no difference. Um, so, yeah, hopefully, uh, none of you guys have been spermed on just yet by the whale. <laughs> it was coming, wasn't it? It was coming. Um, yeah, easy though, easy, easy enough to uh, dodge the sperm. If you don't like it, then you know, don't go in for it. Just, it'll just make, it'll just make your mouth taste disgusting. It'll leave a bitter aftertaste as well. I mean, from the whale when he tries to kill you. I hope that's what we're still on about here. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know the minds, I know the minds of you guys. <laughs> Anyway, once again then, we will be avoiding the sperm offs. Again, we don't want to get ourselves into a uh, sticky situation. <laughs> oh, anyway, I'm going to shut up. Just kill the hammerheads and go, okay? Just kill them. <laughs> the shark hears the faint, distant sound of a dinner.
have done all of the main quests. We've literally got one apex left to kill now. And that is the biggest sperm that will ever leave your body. <laughs> Luckily, uh, sperm doesn't look like that in real life. That would be uh, hard to pass, wouldn't it? If you were having a level 65 bit of sperm trying to shoot out your... Yeah, that would definitely pinch a bit. But, like I said, for some reason, this apex was... I don't know, but it was a lot more chilled than <laughs> than the Orca. I found it a lot less nerve-wracking and a lot easier. Basically, the, the, this Apex Whale is incredibly slow. A lot slower. Kind of looks like your grandpa trying to get up after about three attempts every time he tries to charge at you, you know? And you'll see exactly what I mean now. It looks hilarious. <laughs> but this time, we can go in for just a lot more bites. He's got a bit more of a powerful tail whip, but genuinely, it's, like, it's not even that bad. Oof. Look at that. Look at those deadly sperm eyes. Everything's just white. <laughs> That's funny. So yeah, you'll, you'll see how he's, he's, he's level 60. And he is kind of powerful, but he's he seems to be a lot slower. And it, it just it's an all-round easier boss fight than that of the Orca, I found anyway. Um, so just keep, again, a couple of bites, quick tail whip, dodge out of there. Job done. I and mean, he genuinely does look like your grandpa trying to get off the couch, doesn't he? Hey, come back here, you little bastard. Not done with you. I am his sperm grandpa. Oh, no, wait, wait. Time to say goodbye. We have killed all of the Apex bosses. How about you suck on my sperm whale? So, well, congratulations, you guys. We have done it. And there's literally just a couple of things that we've got left to do in the game now. And that is basically mainly the collectibles. So we need to get about 50% of the way through um, the uh, story or you know 50% 50, 50 progress so we are going to be needing to collect a lot of collectibles we are not going to be grabbing all of the gulf collectibles just yet but we're going to do enough just so the boss fight of scaly pete turns up again of course this is the all collected uh, collectibles map again a big shout out and thank you to red 3 uh, for one on true achievements for allowing me to use his maps um, but we are, luckily, the power stayed on this time, you stupid bastard. Anyway, we can now just crack on. So we've got to get to, um, yeah, I think about 50% before Scaly Pete appears. And then that is exactly what we're going to do. So a couple of collectibles first. Kill Scaly Pete once and for all. And then in part three, we've literally got the rest of the Gulf collectibles. And then a couple of infamy levels to do. Hooray! These are not very good hunter divers, are they? <laughs> sure, it would be more practical simply to close the beaches. But why do that? You just set loose a gang of amphetamine fueled locals. We got a shark on the Quit your hat! 
back when he was a teenager. Not really a gourmand. Could be looking right at me. Oh, it could be anywhere. way to discourage museum attendance is to put your museum underwater. Arctic explorer Ernest Shackleton narrowly missed being killed by an orca. The orca had the last laugh. Shackleton died of a massive heart attack at 47. a rogues gallery of marine wildlife. <laughs> Traveling around, we are constantly reminded of Lusty appetites. No one knows who built this mysterious underwater base, but odds are they probably own a Nehru jacket and a Persian king. Charged with gene altering competition. Fort Clovis has long been a popular dumping ground for the military, thanks to its lenient regulations and Mayor's practice of hiring. I'd said Captain Blatty sunk his treasure somewhere around here. 
Been funding a diving expedition every year for ten years, and I ain't found it yet. The shark uses lipids from high-fat fare like this to help fuel her reign of terror. This is quite a find. Although, that depends on the gold market, which has really been underperforming lately. I blame the Fed, of course, but what can you do? society have retaliated with deterrent action, but mankind is ultimately impotent to stop Mother Nature's vengeance. This shark understands that she needs... Giant monsters, or kaiju, occasionally visit Port Clovis to pregame before destroying. shark is a sort of super scavenger, completely lacking in what may be called dietary discrimination. So then, this is the last collectible that we are going to get before our pal with no balls, no arms, and no legs appears. I mean, you think again this time, you think at this point he would just give up, but, you know, men are stubborn creatures. We are stubborn buttholes. And just like a poop stain, we will not ever go away, unless you scrub really hard. So there he is then, let us go back to the grotto. Now... If you're probably wondering if this boss fight is going to be incredibly difficult, he comes with electricity shooting at, shooting at you under its boat. He also shoots torpedoes at you. Well, it's not that bad. It, it really isn't that bad. So, of course, we have got a lot of collectibles on the left-hand side of the map there to get. So, just make sure everything is fully upgraded. 
Um, again, if it's not, you can just go and grab the right, uh, couple more collectibles until everything's fully upgraded. It's it's definitely worth doing it, as it sort of takes a, a lot less he a lot less health, and we can do a lot more damage. Now, once again, that freaking annoying glitch where we go inside of the shark and I can't actually swim anywhere happened, so I had to go back again. Otherwise, oh boy, you scaly peep pissed off. <laughs> Now, what you are supposed to do is, um, when uh, Scaly Peach shoots the torpedoes at you, you're actually supposed to catch it and tail whip it back. Obviously, I haven't done that at all through the entire game. Um, where obviously you're supposed to bite it and then tail whip it back with the uh, left bumper. Um, but you literally don't need it. That, I think, was the point of it, <laughs> but you don't actually need to. If you wanted to do it that sort of legit way, the best thing you can do is actually get the um, bioelectric shock armor, um, upgrade that as best as you can, and then when you sort of uh, sprint past it, it actually disables the torpedo, so it slows it down, and then you can just grab it, tail whip it back, lovely. Um, ah, still poison then. You <laughs> Uh, but yeah, that is the way you're supposed to do it. Now, a lot of people, especially when the game first came out, they could just, they basically just jumped on the boat, at the cage, killed Scaly Pete within 10 seconds. But, we are going to be doing the same tactic that we've been doing for everything and everyone. So, we're going to ignore the torpedoes. Uh, by the way, if you do need, if you are low on health and everything, you can let you just swim a long way down. Eat a lot of fish, the torpedoes don't have that much range on them, so if that's what you're worried about and you need some more health, just swim straight down, lots of fish about to eat anyway. But this is what we're going to do. You're supposed to obviously avoid the electric, which would be standard really, because electric hurts, but we're just going to keep slamming our ass into him. That That's it. So there, there is definitely a couple of ways to do this, especially if you wanted to do it legitimately. Um, I mean, this is a legit way, but... It's just a very shortcutty, easy way, which is always nice. So, unlike the first time we beat Scaly Pete, we actually have to destroy these hunter boats. And again, it is literally just the same as we've been doing then. So, you just spin your ass into them. <laughs> spin your ass into them. That would be a bit... <laughs> that would be impressively impossible. Um, the only problem with these boats is, obviously, they're quite small. Uh, Scaly, Scaly Pete's boat is massive, um, but that's it. All... This is literally it. All we're doing again, if you're low on health, swim straight down, get some sh uh, get some fish. There are hunter divers about though, so be careful. Um, but that, th that is literally it. And I thought this boss fight was going to be a lot harder than it was. So see how quickly that I just destroyed all those three? Poifek, mate. Poifek. Now where in the goddamn hell is your boat gone, boy? No, I have actually lost his boat. Oh, <laughs> oh there it is. Ah, I knew you were scared. So he is shooting torpedoes, he is shooting everything at us, but we're literally avoiding that. We've still got full health, for Christ's sake. Couple more spins of the old tail dog, the old dodge dick dive dodge, and that is that. That is how, that is the easiest way you can beat Scaly Pete. Again, there are a couple of hints and tips, especially with the bioelectric armor, if you want to do it legitimately and slam the torpedoes back at him. But, well, you just enjoy it. Laissez les bons temps rouler. I suppose there's a lesson to be gleaned here. Something about how the increasing commodification of the natural world has placed humans on a collision course with an environmental apocalypse. But this is a basic cable show where people tune in to watch sharks kill people. Well, that is that then. Now, let's just see. The shark was rescued by, oh, let's see, Mo. Anyway, little Simpsons reference there. <laughs> right, so congratulations then. We have completed the game. Now we've already got literally a couple of things left to do. And we are going to be doing that in part three out of three. So we've done all the main quests. Everything's done. We've just got a couple of golf collectibles to grab. Or the rest of them. And then two infamy levels. And that, my friends, is that. 
So thank you so, so much for watching again, guys and gals. I really highly do appreciate every like and comment and share and absolutely everything. You're absolutely fantastic. Thank you again to everyone who uh, visits all my socials as well, especially for those on Patreon. I re again, massively, massively appreciate it. It does mean the absolute world to me. So, thank you once again, guys and gals. We'll see you in part three out of three for the end. Yum, yum. Don't forget to eat your sperm. <laughs>